a nice breeze coming in. You know what that breeze means? What does it mean now? I don't know if you guys can see it, but the leaves, the leaves up there, they're starting to have a little hint of brown inside them. And that leads me to believe that the fall season is starting to kick in, starting to go into full swing. Nature is leaving evidence of this season change. So we decided to make a video. We're gonna go into Trader Joe's. And we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little fall haul. And we're gonna show you some fun items from Trader Joe's, the seasonal ones, to get you in the mood, get you in the vibe, start feeling the season. And yeah. Two hours later. We just spent so long trying to get this shot. But look, we got, we pumpkins. got pumpkins. Let's get into this fall haul. So the most obvious things that we have here are pumpkins. So the reason that we bought pumpkins is because Mal really wants to carve them. Or paint them. I haven't decided. I'm undecided. I always see pictures of people who paint them and they turn out really cute. We also got a squash. We did get a squash. We're gonna draw a little smiley face. I feel like a little smiley with Sharpie is gonna look cute, right? Nope, she wants art. Okay, so first big thing. As you guys can see, we got a pumpkin danish. And Trader Joe's during this season is baking these daily. So there's a little fresh date right there. We're not gonna try all the food in here, okay? But the stuff that's like really accessible and easy, we're gonna try. So let's see what this looks like. We're gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. You know, rip that bad boy. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is what it looks like, friends. Look at the stuff inside. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's full of like pumpkin. Look at the top. I know. Give me that. That's mine. Yeah. I don't want to hold it. On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate this? I would say 8.5. Mmm. I would say it's pretty good. I feel like at a family get together, I could see this there. So I'm gonna say eight and a half also. For some reason, Trader Joe's thinks that like, to make something fall themed, you just slap pumpkin on it and a bunch of sugar, and then it's fall themed. Not a lot of healthy things whatsoever inside of this meal. Next, we have leaf chips, which I personally think is super overrated and extra, but we got some good salsa. Boom, she found it. All right, fall harvest salsa. Harvest centered elements like apples and butternut squash. <sighs> Dent it on the edge of that. Okay, you hold the bottom and I'll twist it. Oh, we got it, yeah. All right, let's test. Test, what is it called they again? they have different tastes? Fall the harvest chips. salsa? No, they all taste the same. They're literally just tortilla chips. I will say it's good, but it doesn't like, remind me of like fall. It tastes just like, pretty much like normal salsa. That, I would probably rate a six. This, uh, I would Really? Rate. Well, I rate that like a three out of 10. Really? Yeah. So we have 10 for fall vibes, man. It's lucky that I gave it a three. I gave it a three because it tastes good, okay? Yeah. The other seven points that it's missing is because it has. It doesn't really taste like it has anything to do with fall. We got organic cans. Okay, I don't really know if these are supposed to be fall themed. I, I told But the you colors. It doesn't. It, they're carrots. They're colors though. They're think, not when, you a think fall about, vegetable. They are. Look, fall. You think, when you look at that, you think of fall. Yeah. Zero out of ten. <laughs> It's really gross. I did not want those at all. Yeah, uh, let's move on to the next thing really quickly. I'm excited about these. I picked these out. Pumpkin Spice Pretzel Slims. <laughs> <laughs> it just exploded when Mal opened it. 
Okay, let's try this. We're gonna do it at the same time. It smells good. We're gonna do something that we see good One, in two, the morning. No, 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 you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Dink it and it. sink it. Yeah, I like it. It's not as pumpkin-y as I thought it would be. It's not very pumpkin-y. But it's really good with the with the saltiness. Of it's, the it has like the pumpkin spiciness. Like, you know, like pumpkin spice latte, the PSL from Starbucks? Kind of, it's kind of reminiscent of that flavor. It doesn't really taste pumpkin-y per se, but you can taste like the pumpkin spice. I rate that one in... I say seven and a half out of 10. I say an eight. All right, next one. Chocolate mousse pumpkin. Mal was so excited about these. Velvety chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. We should probably split one or else we'll die. Yeah. These like... are really bad for you, okay? So if you care about your, if you care about li life. I choose life. Don't get these. These are addicting. I think, you, like, these are dangerous. You could probably eat an entire pack of these. Uh, what do you rate this one? I, I really liked it. I would give it a seven. I'd probably give it a six. Moving on, let's see what we got next. Yes! This pumpkin walks into a bar. You know, out of everything here, this is probably the most pumpkin-y flavored thing. I don't really like them. Three, two, one, six, eight, five and a half. Eight out of ten. Moving on. We got pumpkin spice rubibos, which I think I'm pretty sure it's just like. A pretty thing. sure she's pronounced that wrong, but we're not gonna talk about it. We've been getting really into teas from Trader Joe's. We have like this harvest one, the harvest blend that we've been drinking every night. Yeah. So this was a, a different one that we hadn't seen yet. 10 out of 10 for packaging, this is so cute. This doesn't smell nearly as good as the Harvest Blend. Based off of the way that it smells, what would you rate it? Based off the way that it smells, I'd probably give it a four and a half out of 10. Right now, I would give it a five. Okay, now we're on autumnal harvest. You got a soup? Yeah, I got a soup. So this is a, what? What's wrong with that? So this is a creamy tomato based soup with a pumpkin and butternut squash. We're gonna stick our grubby little fingers in there and taste Ooh. it. Wow. You can have this in your dorm. Plop some in the microwave. Instant fall vibes. Instant. Mm -hmm. I say nine and a half out of 10. I would give it a six and a half if it was like a pasta sauce, I would be a little more excited, but I'm not really like a soup girl. I am not really a fan. Now we have honey crisp apple. We have already bought the pumpkin version and it's in our bathroom, but we have yet to smell this. So I'm not really into candles to be honest. That's more a mouse thing, but I can totally see the allure. It's actually pretty good. It is very very stinky in the good way like there's dirty bathroom stinky and then there's like honey crisp apple stinky what's the score give it a score i would give it a nine out of ten i give it uh, i'll give it a seven and a half out of ten it's good but it's not like pumpkin it's not the pumpkin one now we have gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix obviously we can't taste test this but we can't, it would just be gross. And so, we had to get the gluten free one because non gluten free stuff makes my tum tum go bum bum. Okay, we're gonna make this tomorrow. So, this morning. is our score boom, boom. Next, I'm gonna predict my score for this is probably gonna be like a solid seven out of ten. I what's your predicted score? I agree, I think probably like a seven. We really like the Kodak cakes. So it would be hard to shy away from that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not really sure how I feel about like pumpkin cakey things. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. But I think Predicted seven out of 10. It's pancakes, can't really go wrong. What's next? Next we got cute little pumpkins with our squash yes. that we yes. will probably put somewhere. We have cute little pumpkins. Maybe on our dining table or something. If little pumpkin hats. Huh. Look at that. That's hella cute. Squash. Next I got pumpkin pie spice because I have really been liking bagels with cream cheese and then sprinkle cinnamon on it. 
So why not pumpkin pie spice? Also, you can put it like on top of hot chocolate or on top of our pancakes or on in uh, on top of like tea. Next, we got noodles. We got nudes. They're in the shapes of, are those little pumpkins? Yeah. I think they're supposed to be in the shape of pumpkins, even though it says Zuket. Anyways, I think it's really cute, but probably overrated. Are you just going to eat one crunchy? Why? Ew, Cameron. Not my favorite thing here. Based off of my just, my taste testing right now, I say one out of ten. That's stupid. One out of ten. That's no, that's not correct. One out of ten. You are supposed to eat it, obviously, in a pasta. If it's not good and dry, it's not good wet. I, I would say seven, just because I think it is a little extra, just like those fall chips. Lastly, we have pumpkin butter. Pumpkin I'm so butter. Excited about this. Okay, yeah, we're pretty hyped. I got. This. Taste <laughs> it. Let's stick our fingers in there. You got. No, don't open it like that. You're gonna spill it all over your clothes. <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. I, I can picture I, it mixed in my cream cheese and it's Definitely, crunchy. by no means is it even close to being my favorite jelly. You slather this crap on a bagel with cream cheese, you slather this on some bread, a little bit of butter, mm -hmm. you got yourself fall vibes, 10 out of 10. I agree, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is the winner, I guess, of the day. The, the pumpkin butter jelly, or I guess it's not jelly, just pumpkin butter. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really excited. Look at how cute our little table Yeah, we got a lot of little things going on here. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, guys. So, that pretty much concludes the video. Again, guys, this is the winner. So, if you go to Trader Joe's and you want, like, you know, like, without a shadow of a doubt, like, scientifically proven the, the most fall vibes thing that you can get, it's this pumpkin butter as of right now. And thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye. goodbye.